Hello, welcome back to our Flutter Memory Match game series. In this video, I will be adding a new feature to our game to track the player's best time for each level using the shared preferences package. And what better way to celebrate a new best time than with confetti? So, I will also be adding a confetti package to the game to make it even more exciting. So let's get started. I updated the Bob Spec YAML file to add additional two packages to the Flutter app. The first package is called Shared Preferences. It's a package that allows us to easily store and retrieve key value pairs on the user's device. We can use this to store things like the user's best time in the game or their high score. The second package is called Confetti. It's a package that allows us to easily add confetti animations to the game. We are going to use this package to celebrate when the user sets a new best time. Next, I created two folders inside the widgets folder, one for mobile and one for web. Inside the mobile folder, I created the Dart file Game Timer Mobile. It is a stateless widget that takes a time parameter of type duration. It represents the elapsed time since the game started. In the build method, I am using a card widget. I set its child as a row widget to contain the timer icon and the elapsed time. I am using a text widget to display the time parameter and format it. Next, I created the Dart file Game Best Time Mobile inside the mobile folder. Game Best Time Mobile is a stateless widget that takes in a best time integer as a required parameter. Inside the build method, it returns a card widget that has a green accent color, rounded corner, and an elevation of 8. The card contains a row widget with two child widgets. The first child widget is the celebration icon. The second one is a text widget that displays the best time taken to complete the game. It uses the duration class to format the time as string. I created the Dart file Game Confetti inside the widgets folder. Inside it, I created a new stateless widget called Game Confetti. I identified a confetti controller parameter with a duration of 10 seconds. It means the confetti will fall for 10 seconds before stopping. The build method will return a confetti widget. Here, I am setting various properties of the confetti widget. For confetti controller, I am passing the variable I created above so that the con confetti will start falling when the widget is built. Blast directionality will determine the direction in which the confetti will blast out. I set it to explosive, which means the confetti will blast out in all directions. I set the should loop parameter to false so that it stops after the 10 seconds. Gravity will determine the speed at which the confetti falls. I set it to 0.5 so that it falls at a moderate speed. I set the emission frequency to 0.05 and the number of particles to 20. I used a list of different colors to the colors parameter to give the confetti some variety. Next, I updated the restart game widget to add a new parameter called color. It takes a color object and default to white. This will allow us to specify a different color for the icon. Inside the mobile folder, I created the Dart file Game Board Mobile. It is a stateful widget 
that is specifically designed for mobile devices. It also includes methods to start and pause the game timer and to reset the game. The get best time method is used to get the best time from shared preferences. When the game is over, we check whether the current duration is better than the stored best time. If it is, we update the shared preferences and set the show confetti and best time variables. In the build method, we use a stack and we check for the show confetti parameter to display the game confetti on top of the game board. It uses a grid view which adapts itself according to the screen size of the device to use the memory card widget to display the cards. It also includes a restart game widget, game timer mobile widget to display the current time of the game, and game best time mobile widget to display the best time of the game. I created the file GameTimer.dart inside the web folder. GameTimer is a stateless widget that will be used to display the elapsed time during gameplay in our Flutter game. For that, it will use a text widget in a centered format with a font size of 24. I then created the Dart file GameBestTime inside web folder. It's a stateless widget with a required parameter called best time, which is an integer representing the best time achieved in the game. I used a text widget to display and format the best time by converting the integer parameter into a duration object. Next, I created the game board.dart file inside the web folder. The game board is a stateful widget that is designed for web. Similar to the mobile board, this will use the shared preferences to store and retrieve the best time for the current game level. It is composed of a grid view containing memory card widgets that represent the cards on the game board. The board also includes a restart game widget for restarting the game, a game timer widget to display the current game time, and a game best time widget to display the best time. It uses a stack to display the game confetti on top of the game board when the show confetti parameter is set to true. Next, I updated the Dart file memory match page inside the pages folder. In the build method, we check if the app is running on the web using the k is web variable. If so, we are using the game board widget passing in the game level as a parameter. If it is false, we are using the game board mobile widget passing in the game level as a parameter. I updated the route builder method inside the game options widget to use the memory batch page. I no longer needed the memory match page mobile and the memory match page web, so I deleted them from the pages folder. I also deleted the game board dart file. Next, I updated the memory card widget to resize the icon of the card. I wrap the icon widget with a fitted box widget. The fitted box widget scales and positions its child within itself based on its size and the available space. With this update, the icon will now be auto resized to fit the available space. I first run the app on a mobile device. I can see the updated board game showing the best time widget. The game is showing a confetti when I completed this round and scored a new best time. The game will store the best time in the shared preference for the selected game level. 
I then run the game using the browser. I can see the new responsive game board showing the game time and the game best time. And I got a confetti when I scored a new best time. The new best time is stored in the shared preference for the selected game level.